Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do a video of 10 baby names that I really like but won't be using for whatever reason. I'll try to explain it a little bit. Um, in general, for the most part, I like names that are either masculine or feminine. Names that are not too popular, easy-ish to spell and pronounce, and kind of old-fashioned. For the most part, I mean, it does vary. So I'm going to start off with a girl's name and then I'll just switch back and forth. The first name I have written down is Chloe. Chloe is Greek and means blooming or fertility, I think, yep. Yeah. Um, and the reason that I don't use Chloe is because Aaron doesn't really like it. Also, it did become pretty popular. For my first boy's name, I like the name Reuben. Reuben is Hebrew and means behold a son. I love the name. I love how it sounds. The only thing that I have a problem with is that it reminds me of a sandwich. The next girl's name I have is Ivy. I don't know, I might still use this one day. Um, Ivy is English and means climbing vine plant. And I, I just love that name. The only thing is it doesn't really go very well with our last name, which is Jaeger, Ivy Jaeger. It kind of, it, I mean, it's okay. We'll see, maybe one day, I don't know. Now for my next boy's name, I like Judah. Judah is Hebrew and means praised. Now, there's another name that my husband is just not a fan of. Most of the names, I guess, that I won't be using, the reason I won't be using it is because my husband doesn't like it, which is fine, you know, everyone has their own likes, dislikes. The next name I have is Lucy. Lucy is English and French and means light. This is another name that my husband's not a huge fan of. Owen is here watching me film, and he just informed me that he does not like that name either. But I like it. I think it's cute. The next name I have written down is George. That is Greek and means farmer. I think it's so cute for a little boy. This is another one of those names that Aaron just doesn't really like. He feels like it's a little bit old sounding for a baby. But I mean, every George was a baby at some point. The next name I have written down is Esther. I love the name Esther. Esther is Hebrew and means star. My husband and I both like this name, but it's already in the family. My sister's name is Esther. But in the Bible, the book, in the book of Esther, um, before Esther became queen, her name was Hadassah, her Hebrew name. So um, we actually did use that name from our youngest. Our youngest is named Hadassah. Next, I have Henry, and that's German, and it means ruler. Again, this name is already in the family. My sister has a son named Henry, and it's also another name that my husband's not a huge fan of. Now, this next name is maybe more of a guilty pleasure name, but I love it and that is Genevieve. Genevieve is French and means woman of the race. Now this is also a name that I would have hoped to use one day if my husband could ever grow to like it. Um, I doubt that he would, so <laughs> probably never, but I just like it. The last name I have written down, it's maybe not a top favorite, but I couldn't really think of another boy's name that I was in love with. This name is Charles. I do really like that name. It's German and French and it means free man. I love the nickname Charlie. I love the way it sounds. I think this name is very masculine sounding, old fashioned, sort of simple. Um, it may be a little on the popular side, but I, I like it. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite baby names are. Also subscribe if you haven't already um, and click the notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new video. And thanks so much for watching, bye.